If you look at the results coming out of big retailers in recent weeks, MassMart, and also coming out of Woolworths and ShopRite, you'll realize that the South African retail environment is under a lot of pressure. Why is it under a lot of pressure? Well, you're taking strain, and if you're taking strain, you're spending less in shops, to put it as simply as that. We're taking stock today with the chief executive of ShopRite. Now, ShopRite owns multiple brands, everything from Hungry Lion to CompuTicket to Checkers, ShopRite, and of course, YouSave. His name is Peter Engelbrecht, and he's been chief executive at ShopRite now for the last 12 to 18 months. How long exactly have you been counting the days? Yeah, 18 months. 18 months or so. Um, did Whitey was on time his exit just perfectly because <laughs> this environment has turned really quite sharply against retailers. Yeah, a lot of people said that we, we gave him a very good um, parting present uh, of having excellent results at uh, the end of 2017. So, But no, it, uh, the environment has, has, has been mostly affected by the deflation that we're in. Um, I, my crystal ball cracked uh, halfway through the year, and at the half year results, uh, I was asked what's my, out, what's my outlook for the rest of the year, the second half, in terms of food inflation. And I, th I expected it to be more or less the same. And then in March, we actually went into an accelerated deflation and we had four consecutive months of, of deflation. Explain to me why that's important. I mean, for a consumer, deflation is a good thing. Prices start coming down rather than what we're used to, which is forever increasing. Yeah, it's fantastic for the consumer. Uh, for food retailers, it's, it's not so great. But why it's fantastic for, the, for, for consumers is we've had 13,241 items which during the course of the year was at a selling price lower than the previous year. If we sold those at the same price than last year, that would have added 2.3 billion rand to our turnover, just to give you the mm. effect. On top of that, we shield the consumers at about 2 billion in price increases. Um, so uh, what, what it does to the retailer is you've got this mismatch between your top line growth and your cost pressure, because certainly costs don't go into the rates and taxes go up electricity prices go up the petrol price which is 25 percent higher today than it was this time last year those are fixed costs labor costs go up between five and six maybe eight percent a year depending on on the negotiations and the there. security cost uh, also double we'll, the, double we'll talk about security cost in a moment because that's an important facet of these results you had more than one robbery every single day um, at one of your retail outlets but this idea that you your costs increase <clears throat> Your, your income then stays flat or, or, or declines slightly, and that impacts profits negatively. You held up better, though, um, if one looks at the recent results out of MassMart, the recent results out of Woolies, than competitors. How? Yeah, um, uh, it's in our DNA uh, to, and very passionate about affordability. We know we're the lowest priced former retailer in South Africa. Um, that's the easy part. Affordability is something which we embraced 18 months ago, and that's why you've seen probably in the media of late that we have over a thousand items in the ShopRite brand, consumer brand, under five rand. We've sold over, over 65 million under five rand meals in the last year, and we've subsidized 110 million loaves of bread under five rand. And, and that may, it's all well and good that consumers love you, but then you've got the other side of the problem, and that is investors, you've got investment analysts, and you've got people who lend you money to grow your business into primarily other parts of Africa, and you've been borrowing money in dollars in order to do so. People then get a bit worried about this thing called margin, profit margin, that little bit of cream on the top of, of, of the revenue. And that's the beautiful part of the story, is just that we maintained our gross profit margin at 23.9% again this year. How, but how do you do that? Because this is, this is either the hocus pocus or the science of making the profit margin in an environment where costs are sliding, where prices are being cut, where you say that you're passing on these, these savings to consumers, yes. yet you're maintaining a profit margin. Yes, uh, um, pricing has become a science. Um, at the results presentation, I, I gave an, uh, an example of the of the what we the items that we deem to to define a price sensitive customer. And if you don't know exactly what those items are, it means you may go in discount pri products on a promotion unnecessarily that people don't know the price or don't care about the price so. and that is uh, we embedded down um, quite uh, uh, nicely in our business this year we've got an enormous amount of customer science data at the moment we have in excess of uh, six petabyte of data 
that we work through. We, we're using algorithm, algorithms, uh, artificial intelligence is starting to become something that's not uh, a pie in the sky, it's become a reality. Explain to me how that works. I mean, how do you use artificial intelligence to analyze the data of you know, when I go to with my basket to the tiller checkers or shop right it's got a can of baked beans a loaf of bread and a block of butter that gives you information about my buying patterns that you feed into a computer and it spits out an algorithm at the end eventually you put in an algorithm and you're not you've got a 50 50 chance that it gives you a, a usable answer but in this example uh, what you buy would define what kind of customer you are. Are you an upmarket, loyal customer? Are you a price sensitive customer? Um, and that determines what offer we, we need to, to customize to you. I want to talk about offers and I want to talk about, you got lots of bits of paper on the walls. You know, your, your, your adverts, you got competitors' adverts on the wall. I want to know how these things work, but we'll talk about that in just a bit. Would you agree with HSBC? They came out with a report in the last couple of weeks in which they said South Africa in the second quarter, when Stats SA reports data on the 4th of September, they will say South Africa had a second quarter of contraction, negative growth. Only small, 0.1%, they say, but that would mean two quarters, consecutive quarters yes. of contraction, which would mean we're in recession. Correct. Do you think we're in recession? Yes, I do think so. There's, uh, there's very little upward pressure on, on, on prices at the moment. I think the deflation will continue for a while uh, further. We've had it on good authority from one of the bankers uh, yesterday that um, um, uh, unlike what I saw in the newspaper this morning that there will not be an uh, interest rate hike. Um, but uh, we can see definitely that our cash strapped customers are finding it hard. And here I need to separate between the consumer brand ShopRite and Checkers. The ShopRite brand grew 4.3% in the past. Checkers grew 8. 8.2. Of inflation of 1.5. That's a remarkable number. Uh, so South Africa's inequality gap is getting bigger rather than smaller? Without a doubt. I mean, uh, what did we do with the number 67% of our youth without jobs? And uh, I, I wish people or the clever people, let me say, that we look at the other side of the income statement uh, in terms of savings. Uh, we read in the papers the 80 billion of fraudulent slash overclaims against the health department, 5 billion that we lose in income because of the illicit tobacco trade. We're talking about subsidizing or, or, or vet exam, more items, that's around about 22 billion. You put that in a basket, I think we can stimulate this economy very fast if we use that kind of money. But we're in recession. You would yeah. agree you would concur with HSBC. Your customers' buying patterns are telling you the, what the, the products they're choosing, the volumes they're choosing, the number of times they're coming, the, the amount they're spending on, on each visit is all shrinking. There are three things are affecting them ter terribly. The fuel price you mentioned, the VAT increase, although it was uh, small and some people, uh, we shielded our customers off the VAT. Uh, we didn't see the immediate volume pick up, but our customer noticed. In the latest, uh, in the July customer uh, trend uh, survey, nine out of 10 customers are extremely happy with the low prices of ShopRite. Um, and the third thing is that uh, we managed to grow volume. So that also refers back to how we managed to uh, uh, balance the, the margins. At a, at a stage where customer are actually buying less. Peter Engelbrecht is Chief Executive of ShopRite. So if you've got your customers under pressure, we've got unemployment rising, we're in recession, and Peter Engelbrecht concurs with a recent report from HSBC which suggests the second quarter to the end of June did reflect a contraction. We'd only find out from Stats SA in the next week or so whether or not that data is accurate. But crime levels in South Africa have exploded and ShopRite is at the receiving end of an awful lot of that crime and I'm not too sure that they're getting too much state support when it comes to battling that crime either. More on that as we take stock with Peter Engelbrecht, Chief Executive of ShopRite, in a moment.